The main thing in our business is really our milk. If you've got good milk, you can make good, good cheese and good products. So for us, Jersey milk is a, is a real number one. We want a high um, butter fat concentrate. That gives you the real flavor and the sweetness, you know, when we're making a nice, thick, rich Greek yogurt. We get in our milk probably the day before. We keep it fresh in the tanks in the morning. And then from there, we send it through the pasteurizer. The reason we pasteurize is we'd rather be safe than sorry. No matter how clean a farmer's cows are, no matter how clean a farmer's, you don't want to take that risk. After pasteurization, your milk will get pumped into whichever vat you're using. With regard to the halloumi, it's a, it's a separate cheese, it's a squeaky cheese. And what that means is it doesn't have too much flavor. So it doesn't have a culture added, and the culture is the bacteria which adds the flavor. So once your, halloumi, your milk for the halloumi is pasteurized, you actually just add in your rennet. And what it does is it basically takes your milk proteins and binds them together and gives you a nice firm set. So what you look for when you're cutting is that it's firm. So if you look here, that was milk, so that's perfectly set. And once it's ready, we cut. From there, you go through a process of heating and stirring. So you'll heat to a different temperature or you'll stir for a different amount of time. With most of my cheeses, I go by feel mixed with science. So I use my pH meter to know once my pH is prepared, but I also use my hand to feel if the curd is too dry or if the curd is too moist, and that will tell me whether to stir faster or slower, whether to heat more slowly, whether to stop heating. So once the halloumi was ready and I was happy with the pH as well as the texture and the dryness, it gets molded. Once it's um, in the molds, we basically press it for a certain amount of time and then we cook it. So what happens at the cooking is you literally drop it into its own way that's heated to above 90 degrees and it sits at the bottom and once it's ready it floats to the top. If you take it out before it's ready it won't be cooked through thoroughly. So you wait, you gently scoop it off the top, you put it on the table, we salt it and then from there we let it cool naturally and then we vacuum pack. A lot of guys with halloumi don't actually um, necessarily press. I like to have a nice firm piece. I want it to hold its form when it's cooked and I also hand salt because I don't want it to be too salty. For restaurants we sell brine because they prefer it but for general customers hand salted, vacuumed and then it can also be frozen so it can last. Halloumi is the one cheese that you can make on a day, finish it on the same day and sell it that same day and eat it that same day and it's ready. All your other cheeses need to either have a salt drawing time or a ripening time or a maturing time whereas your halloumi one day done.